Hi and welcome to another video. This video is going to be a follow-up of the previous one which we looked at how to set a position to the Dynamixo motor. In this video we're going to look at how you could set positions to multiple motors. So here I have one more motor and to connect it you're going to use the three pin connector and just connect it in series like that. Okay, and as for software goes, it's going to be the same thing. You're going to use the set position function, except this time you're going to change your ID. So for me, it's going to be ID number 11. And I'm going to do the same thing. So let's delay it for another two and a half seconds and then we could set the position for the second motor so change the ID so this is so this is how the program is going to look both of the motors will be set to position zero at setup and then let's delay it for maybe three seconds and then when it starts to loop, the first motor is going to go half position, then full position, and then back to start, and then delay. And then motor number 11 will get set to half position, then full position, then back to zero, and it's going to loop. And it's going to go back and loop again. So let's check it. And... Let me plug in my power supply and let's run the program. So this is just running from the previous code, so let me upload the new program. So the first motor is going to run three times first and then the second motor should start running. <laughs> 